Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. Um, before I even get into the reading, I just want to mention an update on personal reading. So um, basically now I do my personal readings. It's through email, but I sent a voice message. So it's me talking. Um, like giving you a personal reading basically and I also too I send pictures of the card so you'll get attachment of the pictures and also um, attachment for the audio message basically so if you would like to book a personal reading all you have to do is just email me or you can click the link in the description box below like all of my info um, is in the description box so please check that um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can at Pink or Tarot. I post additional messages on there as well. So yeah, um, I would love to connect with more people on Instagram. So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you're new um, to the channel, when I say Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, basically if you have Aries in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, then this reading could resonate with you but keep in mind too that it's like very very general because i'm speaking for like a whole group of people here like a lot of people so it may or may not resonate with you and this could already happen as well just keep that in mind and if it doesn't resonate with you in this reading just come back to another reading you know hopefully that will resonate with you so let's pull the overall energy for you guys What's the overall energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020? What's the overall energy? I don't know. I'm an Aries moon, so I was like, no. <laughs> so we got the nine of, basically the nine of swords, suffering in silence here. And we have the waiting game. Uh-oh. I kind of think I know what this is, where this is going here. There's something here. I feel like there's something that's causing some type of mental conflict here. Um, Aries, because you know, they say that Aries are like impatient. Like, we just can't wait. It's like very impulsive. Like, we want things like right, right now. Well, we want things like yesterday. Whatever it is that you're having, having to wait on here, I feel like it could be causing some type of anxiety or something. But I feel like it's more so about waiting here. It's like you're needing to be patient about something. So let's see what's going on. Tell me about suffering and silence for Aries. Tell me about suffering and silence for Aries. Okay, so it's, I feel like it could be about some type of offer here, or it's like the start of something new here. For some of y'all, you could be waiting for an offer, or you could be waiting to give an offer here. Either way, just take it how it resonates. I see some sort of offer here, but it's like something new. For some of y'all, you could have um, walked away here from a situation, or you're needing to. Tell me about suffering and silence for Aries. Tell me about suffering and silence for Aries. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, something could have ended here. For some of you guys, I feel like you could have been juggling more than one thing here um, as well. It's like you're needing to find balance in the situation or something needs to balance out here. Um... Let's see. Tell me about suffering and silence for Aries. Yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like something ended, right? Or something's ending. But it's like you could be wanting to rush towards something here, but it's like you're needing to wait. Because we got the hangman here at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of waiting here, it's like you want to rush towards something like um like one thing could have ended right and then you want to rush towards something else but it's like you know just wait a minute give me one more for aries what why is suffering silence here for aries why is suffering and silence here for aries
Yeah, so the hangman came out. Yeah. For some of you guys, you're um you could be needing to wait here. It's like you could you could be feeling like kind of stuck and tied up in a situation here. But it's like you're needing to wait. I feel like it's for a, a reason here. I do see the start of something new here as well, though, with the Empress card and the Eight of Wands. It's like you're going to be able to move forward here, but just like wait a little bit. So I feel like um, it's like why you could be waiting here. It's like you're suffering in silence or um, it's like maybe you're not seeing why you have to wait. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, there could be some type of fear here. Um, someone could also be dealing with a younger Capricorn, like an Earth sign. But I do feel like there could be like fear here, or um, involved with the offer. It's like you could be wanting to move forward in a situation here, but I feel like you're needing to wait. What's the Ten of Swords? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, so we got a death card that came in. There was definitely some type of ending here. It could have been with a Capricorn. But, um, I feel like you guys, because the King of Wands came out here, it's like you guys want to take action, but I feel like for some of y'all, you're going to be able to take action soon. It's like you just need to wait, or it's like you could be waiting, like playing the waiting game. What's the Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords? Yeah, um, the, I see the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. But then the Queen of Cups came out. For some of you guys, I feel like you need to use your intuition here about how to move forward. It's like kind of just slow down a little bit. Because I feel like it could be like, what I'm seeing here is like impulsive. With this Queen of Cups and the, um, the Knight of Swords. It's like an impulsive move. But it's like you're needing to wait, like, um, wait it out a little bit. Because the Queen of Wands is here and then the Five of Wands. It's like you're so ready to do whatever this is that it's like you're not really thinking it through. It's like think about it first and then act on it. Then take action. Yeah, see, I feel like you guys need more planning. With this Two of Wands, it's like you're so, and this is Aries energy too, this Two of Wands. It's like you're so ready to possibly start something new here. But it's like, just think about it first. You know, <laughs> I might use it as a thumbnail. It's like there's a meme where, um, basically, I think the the meme or like the gift thing is called Think About It. It's like a black guy. And um, I'm not even sure how to explain it. But if you know, you know. I probably post it like on my Instagram or um. <laughs> I might put it in a thumbnail, <laughs> but it's what I'm thinking about right now. That meme, it's like, think about it. What's this page of pentacles? Tell me more about the page of pentacles. So we got the four of swords. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an earth sign here. Either you or the other person here. I feel like they could have been, um, I feel like somebody needs to like wait here about a love offer. This is what I'm seeing. It's like you could be waiting for somebody to make an offer or you could be waiting to like give an offer. But it's like use your intuition here before you start like, um, rushing towards it or like just going after it here. Like, really contemplate and think it out or, like, um, plan it out here.
for some of y'all, you could have taken a break here from a um a earth sign. And it's like maybe you had an ending with this person, right? But it's like somebody wants to um to start over here. Like they want to um to change the the connection here. And I do feel like um they could be making plans here or like thinking about an offer. What's this two of wands? Yeah, see the nine of swords came out right here. So I feel like this could like this could definitely be your energy, um, Aries, or it could be the other person's. But I feel like there's like a lot of anxiety here, a fear, like very worried here about um some type of offer here or a connection. Could be a Libra as well with this justice card, but I do feel like someone's needs to um I feel like somebody's trying to make a decision here, possibly about a new partnership as well. It's like maybe they they don't really know what to do. Are they just like kind of um, playing the waiting game, trying to see how things work out? That's what it seems like. So let's see. I'm going to use my Kipper deck to... Um, Clarify this page of pentacles. Clarify the page of pentacles. Yeah, change. See, I feel like this is the start of something new here after a period of you um, taking a break. I feel like this could be a new partnership for somebody. Clarify this page of pentacles. Yeah, concern. For some of you guys, you're concerned here about this new pathway. Like, this could also be a new beginning as well for somebody. They're con someone's concerned here. It could be the earth sign. Clarify this page of pentacles. Okay, so main female. This is just what came out, so don't get caught up on genders. I don't know if it's the um the masculine or the feminine um energy here. I see both. But someone's concerned here about some sort of change. Yeah, a new beginning here. And also too, I just feel like somebody's waiting. Someone's waiting here. Um it's like you're waiting for your ships to come in here. And we got the Ace of Pentacles here as well. So definitely the start of something new here. Possibly like after an ending. But for some of you guys, I feel like you're needing to tap into your intuition here before you move forward. Because whatever it is, it could be kind of like overwhelming here, like emotionally and also mentally too. So it kind of has you kind of off balance here. But I feel like once you make wait and make a decision here about this partnership or whatever this is, I feel like you're going to find balance here in a situation with the justice card. Like things are going to balance out for you. Um, let's pull an Oracle card real quick. Give me one for Aries here. Give me one for Aries for the spread. Yeah, loyal heart regeneration. So this could be a past person. I didn't see the six of cups, but um, regeneration. It's like maybe this is about your love life or something that was dead. Um, Aries is being rejuvenated here or regener uh, regenerated. It's like something that was dead is like coming back to life here, especially with this um, ten of swords and a death card. Um, in this deck right here, I'm using a light series deck and it says death and rebirth. But we have a loyal heart. Um, that came out for you. So whoever this is, I feel like this could be a new partnership for somebody here. And I feel like this could be justice here as well. Like this new partnership for somebody. Like this is your justice here. Um, 
for whatever you went through. It's like someone had like a really um hard ending here in regards to the, their love life here. Um, it's like something that you needed to take a break from. And I feel like for some of y'all, you could be concerned. Like maybe you think it's just over. Like it's never going to be um, regenerated here. Like you just think that it's dead, but it's like coming back to life. So hopefully this reading um, resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.